Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, a series with A to Z. They were now playing as Kaisar's Legion, another faithful butcher. Four months ago, Kaisar summoned Lanius to appear within the tent citadel at Flagstaff there. He gave an important order to the renowned legate. Lanius, I need you to take Dog City. I'm going to need the wealth that Denver has to offer if I'm to cross Colorado and take the dam. I'm going to trust you with a handful of cohorts and trust that in five years. You will accomplish this mission. Take any longer and I'm going to consider you a failure and mark you for death as anyone who has failed me would. Show the prolificates no mercy. My will be done. Kaisar has given Lannis a direct order to conquer Dog City in return before January 1st, 2280. If the day passes and Lannis has still not accomplished it, he'll be branded traitor and gotta kill him off. So, we can give Lannis equipment and manpower, but we'll not control Lannis directly due to distances involved, but Expedition Blackfoot. The expedition to the Blackfoot tribe was a defining event of the Legion history. The tribe was the foundation of Khazar's Great Legion, and it was through the flames of the primitive tribe wars that the Iron Wolf Khazar was forged. And then we'll read about the Janus face of Khazar. Khazar's mercy after a battle was renowned as his brutality during it. Every slave broke into the slave Legion's lash. There was a farmer who thanked the Legion for killing a raider. For every tribe who lost her name, there was a town that blossomed under the Arizona sun. So who are we at war with? Rusty Hooks. Oh, we're down here. Oh, okay. Ah, that makes sense, I guess. And I speed up, and we do have a cup of green tea here to keep us nice and warm. Here's training our ships too. And it's a little laggy, but that's a okay. We have National Spirit, Cult of Mars. Nice. We have Rejection of Automation, which is not super great. The Eastern Cohort, which is not super great either, which is okay. Legion with a state. Actually, this one's not bad. We lose a little bit of manpower, which is fine, whatever. Um, this is not great. A Legion with a, with a state, and then a Legion. Training. That's pretty darn good. Just bundle up everybody around here real quick, and we'll have a good old time together trying to beat up everybody else around us. Um, but yeah, caps update. I've already played 4.0. Thank you very much. The Torch of Civilization in 2247. Morgan missionary Joshua Grimm, as well as two followers of the Apocalypse, Calhoun and Edward Sallow, were captured by the Blackfoot tribe. Bystanders were a typical tribal war, but Sallow's suggestions to the tribe turned to orders, which turned to leading in battle, which turned into dominion over the tribe. Naming himself Kaisar. He trained the Blackfoot in the ways of the old war, and helped them conquer the rivals, six rival tribes. He showed them how to clean and maintain guns, operate with small unit tactics, to create their own explosives, and to strike at their weakest enemies first, divide at Empera, and divide and conquer. By the time the war was done, he was no longer followed of the apocalypse, he was the Kaisar of a new empire. His greatest introduction was weapon maintenance, unit tactics. There's still too many achievements to list. Worse than Kaisar's health, huh? Well, weapon maintenance. The Malpius Legate. Joshua Graham, the Malpius Legate, was the co-founder of the Legion and Kaisar's greatest servant. A shrewd cunning general, hourly accented his legend across the Legion and from the basis of his military prowess. Actually, I might go back and do that one. Because actually, because I played the Legion before. Well, I remember when this first came out with Atlantis Cohort, Colorado was, I think, brand new, maybe-ish. Um, I wanted to really get the Malpius Legate, but I didn't get to him because if you take out New Vegas too early, too quickly, before Kaisar dies, then Kaisar lives if you take New Vegas. So, we actually might want to go back and actually just worsen in his health as much as possible. We'll see. Um, sure, we'll take some motorcycles now. We don't need any help. At two more brute. Someone's been out with the great Kaiser of late. I've not mentioned it, but some of his aides have been seen him holding his head as if in pain. And forgets some key uh, uh, details and somehow seems as if he's no longer as special as he once was. Although the Legion frowns upon medicine, perhaps an exception could be made for Kaiser, but where would he even find the ability to heal such a sickness? Monte Kaiser will suffer from stress the more he exerts himself. However, center of technology and learning may contain a way to cure him, but where will we f find such a tool? Note that stress is not visible to you, so remember, sick transit gloria mundi. This is good for grinding out stuff, too. Also, a lot of these divisions, these four, three of these divisions were, are from Atari, not Legionnaire, so that's why they're not looking as good as they possibly could. It's very good to grind out XP. The 86 tribes and the civilized societies. Salo and Graham were ruthless in war, but they managed to forge a society east of the Colorado. Travel subjects became a tabula rasa. The culture incorporated into a legion that assimilated useful traits and discarded the rest. But civilized towns are treated much differently. The legion themselves uh, governed themselves, so as long as they paid taxes and obeyed Kaisar's whims, many in Arizona and New Mexico found legion rule to be preferable to the petty despots before Kaisar's arrival. And a Pax Romana settled over the wastes. Clean water, electricity, and a government that broke, brooked no meaningful dissent. These are the hallmarks of the legion's civilization. The two exceptions are the fierce Navajo, whose sophistication rivaled the NCR, and whose skinwalkers found the improvement entirely themselves, and two sons whose priests paid tribute for autonomy. Created peaceful land. Two paces left their mark. Travels of a new god. 
Kaisar, son of Mars. Kaisar's will is law. He is a god among men, the son of the god of war, Mars. All in his legions live to serve him. As a blade serves his master, he is a teacher and master of the tribes under him, and in his conquest taught them many lessons. Which is very, very good. Ah, we are moving into the Bloomfield Space Center. Very nice. Start working around him. It does feel a little slow, though, unfortunately. But we should be okay in the end. There's a lot of equipment, even though we need demo equipment. What is even on our soldiers? Do they have... No, they have chem. They don't have demo equipment, which is not good. Joshua Graham, the Malpais like it. Never saw a contra contradiction between his Mormon faith and the commitment to the Legion. Graham saw the Legion as a scourge for the corruption and sins of the wasteland, just as Joshua harried the old Canaanites. So he harried the wickedness and greed he saw. Graham was disgusted by the perceived corruption of his people, and some whispered, plan to lead the Legion home to cleanse that nation. Other society abandoned his faith entirely, devoted to conquest and power, and Graham himself, only Kaisar knew his goals. Scourged Kaisar's enemies like the Amalek uh, Amalekites. He and Kaisar sought justice together in their way. Risk his own life if need be. The legate's accomplishments disturbed Kaiser himself. Well, he get two motorized battalions and two from Atari battalions. Kaiser's concerns will worsen his health. Um, two motorized siege divisions. Motorized. Two from Atari's as well. What does that one look like? Motorized chairs. Right? That's really kind of cool. From Atari are okay, so. Let's go there for now. You guys can join them. We need a new guy, which we'll get. Oh, the Mopai Slug is right there. Commander. Very nice. Uh, we'll continue trying to beat the crap out of these guys. And here we are, everybody. We are about to beat the Rusty, Rusty Hooks, but the Cult of Vulcan. Some outsiders claim the Legion disdains advanced technology, but this is a half truth. The Legion builds power plants, complex fortifications, and equips its elite soldiers with anti material rifles. Rifles, marksmen, carbines, and ballistic fists. Technology to the Legion is a fine servant but a poor master. The Cult of Vulcan handles all technology for the Legion, and ensures that technology exists to serve man, not man to serve technology. A mix of priests and engineers, the Cult of Vulcan supervises the slaves that mine coal, forge weapons, and craft ammunition. They're loyal to Kaza, but at least some have been looking into non-technical pre-war books and asking questions, and of course there's also some elder slaves who served in the Brotherhood's Arizona detachment, who are spared for only what they know. They build chariots for, go for God, the Brotherhood survivors have a role. Kaza serves as a high priest. Senoa Echawala. Mexico's riches have been protected by the sleeping god Tlaloc for almost 200 years, but reports suggest he's growing old and feeble. Perhaps we can exploit this for our own benefit and open a wedge we can use to pour into that prosperous, prosperous land as, say, the Legion. That wouldn't be bad. That'd be kind of cool. The Loyal Tribe. The Mexican Charisma. Navajo. Actually, how do we earn more glory? Because we want to get glory to the Malpai Slugget. Um, uh, there's glory there. Decanus Glory. Centurion glory, but that's Kaiser is healed, which would be kind of cool. But I don't think we want to go that way for this time. Ah, the Legate's glory. Ah, so it's all over here, isn't it? AT rifle mastery. Aurelius gains glory. Uh, do not ask what the fox says. Ah, oh, Masters of the East. Oh, Lions can become leader of us. That's cool. Malpias gains glory. Vulcan extremism. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But we do want to go to war with them. And uh, the State of the Legion sounds like fun. Vixalarius? Vixal? Vixalarius. A uh, Gloria Exocetus. Kaiser. Oh, hold on. Oh, we gotta do this first. Oh, Kaiser oh, still is the man. The, holds the Legion together, but he's backed by the greatest leaders of the Wasteland. Cunning, Bulbus, the Bloody Legate, the Pragmatic Aurelius, the Beast of the East Line, it's all served his command, and of course there's loyal, dutiful Lucius, but... And all of them strive for Kaiser's favor and try to earn glory, and if anything should happen to that god, well, glory may come in handy. Glory is tracked as a decision category, and the leaders of the Legion make earn glory through great deeds in the service of the Legion. Ave! True to Kaiser! Legion's barracks, huh? Oh, that looks pretty good, too, actually. Tolerate cellular automation, or yeah. We will go with the United Wastes. To be more, to be more than a mighty warband, we must unite the peoples of Arizona and New Mexico. Let's begin with the restoration of the railway between Phoenix and Flagstaff. Our caps master. 
The science of economics is not a popular subject amongst the bureaucracy. What's more, the building of a market and a procurement system from the ground up is a challenging task even for the finest of a number of crunchers. Little and high school level intelligentsia of our community. And keep this in mind, the king of our uh, economic caps, master. And this fiscal acumen have been nothing short of extraordinary, and it's no entire profit for our nation. Pizza's back on the menus. Did we actually do this yet? Uh, but we've not. Good route. No Phoenix. Green route. Combat language is very nice. Happy March, everybody. Happy March. Also, we are on historical for this one. I'm not sure if I said it earlier, but we are on historical for uh, the Legion. So we'll see what happens. Every cap for the army would be nice. Uh, Moncord map would be pretty good. Ooh, actually, occupied territories. Caravan guards. Waste on pacification. We will pacify them until they literally all die. Uh, Mother Shaman. Construction base. It's not bad. Who else do we have? Yeah. Carmine. Arizona Ranger. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Oh, Phoenix Rises. Phoenix was one of the uh, uh, Legion's first major conquests, and some mark the date the Legion turned from a band of tribes into an empire. Before the Legion's conquest, Phoenix had been a home to settlers who used the Silla and Gila rivers to irrigate cotton fields and traded textiles to the southwest. Although many of the town's residents had prospered once the Legion united Arizona and opened up new markets, some of the Phoenix's rich members, when they were masters of their fate. Could not Phoenix emulate the whisper of the Republic of the Rio Grande? Could they not form the city-state of their own? Fools that they are, they do not know that the Frumentari are aware of their plans. Kaiser so will find this interesting. Towns. Ooh, that's pretty good. Speed Demons. Infrastructure. Ooh, that's pretty good too. Lily Blair. Oh! Ed Trader, that's not bad too. I like these, I like these a lot. Let's unite the waste though. I want more political power, so we're gonna come over here. What do we have? The Spoiler Opinma. Go to the spo- Ooh! Legion's work gangs. I like work gangs. Consul Officitorium. Officit Officiorium Ab Famulatus. I always choose this one, Go to Gekka, because you get more political power. And I, you know what? We're going to need political power for the rest of this campaign. Let's be real here. Uh, every gap for the army would be nice. What do we have over here? Any researchers? No. Oh, Special Forces Break. That's pretty nice. Ooh, that's interesting. There's his teeth. War Shaman. Attrition, Lord of the Pit, Heavy Security. Ooh, that's pretty good too. More attack. I'll get a lot as well. Alright. Here, we got that. Um, we're gonna go Asymmetric Warfare because we are the Legion, because I don't know why we would not. And of course we're gonna have slave collars. We love slaves here. Well, using and abusing them, at the very least. Um, after this, the Rubicon. What are we from Antares has found a uh, place. Across the river deep and wide. A span where steel and water did collide. A town called Boulder on the Wild Colorado. With his drills. We can just up here too. Legion Denaris. Huh. Less passive caps and but less pa caps and expensives. Reservation as this. Consumer gets after getting more money. Chariots of two sun. Three motorized. Air technology. Welcome to Silversmiths. That might be good to do as well. And corruption. I like that one a lot actually. This one would be good to do. Uh, what else do we want to do here? Close out of this one. Get more stability would be nice. The repair of the eastern bullet to Tuber Dam. Hmm. Scavenging, that'd be nice. Invest stimulus. Uh, stability would be nice. Brahmin of the bases of wealth, though. The Baudelio uh, ranchers are among the richest people on our borders, but they are content to rely on Tlaloc for protection. Now that he's protecting them no longer, uh, we can use their livestock to feed the Legion. That sounds like fun. 87th tribe calling upon the nomads. But they are guaranteed, aren't they? No, they're not. Okay. Well. Caius Drusus falls ill. Dowsing the Phoenix. Kaiser and his council agree the rebels of Phoenix must be crushed. Let's say <clears throat> jeopardize the legion's cotton, uh, citrus, and copper, but they disagree on how to handle it. Ooh, actually, we're gonna go here. Lucius' proposal is simplest. Why not just ki simply kill some ringleaders, confiscate their property, and then lower taxes for Phoenix's poor? It reminds them that the great Kaiser is harsh, but just so whisper that it is a sign Lucius grows soft, but Kaiser knows that Chariot is best with engines, fear, and love. Wolpus' plan is to lure the rebel leadership to a meeting with the agents who will pretend to work with the Desert Rangers, and then crucify them along the banks of the Gila River. But Aurelius has most devious, and so is the harshest plan of all. Aurelius proposes to arm the rebels with faulty munitions and encourage them to revolt. The rebels won't know this until it's too late and will be right for the taking. Once Phoenix is reconquered, the Legion can break the city once and for all. 
Or gods can always listen to a mob like it, who proposes just crucifying one in every hundred citizens of Phoenix as an example. What a cunning plot. Lucius Vulpus Aurelius. This one. I'll exterminate them. A visit from El Generalissimo. Casa Generalissima Viada. As proposed in arms deals, could be very helpful to us, useful to us, and there's honestly no downside to this arrangement. They hope that they will later turn into an alliance against the Luchadores, who threaten Generalissimo Viada, and could use this as a springboard in Mexico. Ave? Ave. A general visit to the general store. Generalissimo Viala is among the canniest of Mexico's ruler. It's profit from a mighty arms supply, but now he's looking to four new markets, and he's willing to cut a deal to work with us. Why trading slaves for guns? Pay for legion's expansion with the fruits of conquest. El Generalissimo has long sold guns to his merchants across western Mexico. Perhaps we can encourage some trade? Put forward the proposal. It's not bad. Um, who do we have over here? Uh, ooh, the Mopaius Luggit. Oh, I gotta go with the Luggit. That's, that's a lot. Flyboy. It's okay, it's decent. Uh, it's not bad. Army XP gain is good, because we don't get that at all from anyone else. Um, Lucius, Lucius has not been crucified. I kind of want to do that one, because we don't get any more army XP gain at all. Let's start working on some more army XP. Eventually we won't, we won't need them, but we'll get, use them for now. Use and abuse them. Alright, so with these guys, you're going to continue training anyways. Um, map bar is fine for now. I want to make these at least 18 combat. Someone would recommend like, making 20 combat width. I don't know, what is your opinion on the current state of Old World Blues meta? Because, you know, I'm, I'm open to trying out different things and changes and whatnot, but please let me know in the comments below what you personally like to use in Old World Blues, at least in terms of infantry, because sometimes things can change. And I always like to be up to date, so please let me know in the comments below. 1.32, not bad. Let's go. I want to do something else here. Ooh, purchase basic pipe weaponry. Well, we're using melee weapons for now, but. Ooh, we need to own those places. 87th Tribe. I want to go down there quickly. The State of the Legion, though. Pax Rebellion was a model of the Legion. Well, while it was the deadliest force of the Waste, there's always room for improvement. Despite what the Legion claims, its reliance upon tribal levies is a weakness, not a strength in some ways. But no, make no mistake, there may be room for improvement. While there is, it is more of a match for any of the degenerates of the Wastes. Absolutely. Legion Connections. Ooh. Looks like we're realizing our is again glory. Well... That's nice. Yep, I guess we're gonna go down here next. Oh, hello. Oh, our allies. Lanius! You are making a mistake with your allies. Why are you not in cutting it off the pass? I do not understand. You're an infantry leader. Uh, the Mopai has to leg it, though. There you go. Up now. Savages. All of them. Here for more, more, more world tension. Um, I'm just gonna grab that one. Why not? We're here. We must grab it. Pioneer kits. Two at a time. Put some gliders. Well, instead of losing like a bunch of planes in the sky. I'll try. The Rubicon. Which one are we doing right now? Oh, these guys. A trade care of it from Henta City. Generalissimo Via has sent another convoy to us. We'll profit greatly from this friendship, although the Generalissimo is a prolific who someone would say belongs in a cross. Perhaps uh, there's still some use for him. Strange chance to make for some strange friends. Pipe guns. How do we use these? Nice. Naval warfare, good. 85 arm XP. Not bad. Cult of Mars is helping us out a lot. Reclamation Authority is very good too. Go and get this so we get some more army XP game. Beautiful. I love the Legion so much. It's one of my favorite uh, nations to play as. It absolutely is. So much fun. Look how much army XP we're getting, my gosh. And while not extreme, it's still a lot. We got a lot of guns. But that's not the only thing we got. We got the screening ships too, which means nothing is basically the main or whatever. Um, who else is next? Phoenix? Probably still Phoenix. Still making some ships, actually, too. 
Oh, we only one ship. That's fine, whatever. Mapping the dam. Broken boulder. I just want the dam. Ooh. Like a new advisor. Nothing more profitable than good cake. Care of Brahmin. We've conquered the ranches, but we aren't savages. The land will be prosper. We'll prosper under Pax Romano. <coughs> ah, the most nourish nourishing of all liquids. Let the prolificates drink their alcohol and drugs. The Legion knows that milk is the most nourishing of all liquids, and that it is the beverage of an empire. Proper application of the great Kaiser's teachings. We'll promote a dairy industry for export to neighbors, such as Hente del Sol, as Kaiser learned from the writings of old Cicero. Follow the apocalypse. Keep these anarchists far away from our lands. Culture? Very nice. What's we need? It's a little ahead of time. I don't want to own just yet then. Good. Ah, the Hatali and the Dictator. Well, I guess. Another army. Division organization, splack assumption, breakthrough. More attack is nice. I want more breakthrough. Knights Cross. What is that? Perseus. Welcome aboard, fast metabolism. Always a lone wolf. God dang it. Ah, I hate that so much. <clears throat> Kaiser's absence from the daily rulings of his empire strongly fought amongst the citizens of the Legion and its many subjects. Many have come to flags up in the recent days to bring gifts, partially as a way to inquire about the dictator's well being, partially to have an excuse to be close to the capital, and to be the first to relay any potential news to their own people. Those hoping for an audience would not find themselves refused by the ever watchful Praetorian Guard for a plethora of reasons, yet none giving them reliable information on the ongoing activities within the palace, as even the palace caretakers have been sent away. Just as the people were starting to get used to the new state of things, a single man was given permission to enter it by none other than Lucius himself. Little is known about him, despite the many people present, none will claim they have seen the elderly man before. He carried a walking stick with him, adorned with black, blue, yellow, and white colored markings that caused him to believe that he was indeed a member of the Navajo. In fact, aside from the clothes on his body, it seemed to be the only item he was carrying. He came bearing no gift or tribute, unless he intended to hand over his staff or the clothes on his body as, at best, a pitiful trinket to the most powerful man east of the Colorado. It was this traveler who was the first to be welcomed back into the palace. Rumors and speculation quickly engulfed the city as a result of this blatant disregard for protocol and it was, quick, it was only the ever-present fear of the Frumentari that kept the people from voicing their displeasure openly. Three days he stayed, during which not a single order for Kaiser's subjects left the walls of his palace, although the occasional requisition order was made, setting out due to containing substances that were banned within the Legion, making the speed with which they were fulfilled all the more surprising. On the third day, the stranger departed, heading northeast, lending credence to the theory that he was indeed a member of the Navajo tribe, and on the fourth, Kaiser would once again be seen granting audiences as well as issuing orders for space finim. Oh. The Spains have eased. Oh. <coughs> cool. Send an expedition here. While legs can be a valuable proxy for the Legion in Utah, with some assistance, however, they can reserve the right to refuse their aid as savages as they could always be fickle. They listen. Slot upon wounds is kind enough to listen to our teachings and accept our offer of trade. Good for him, but better for us. A new field for combat. Nice. Care for the grain supply. The Mar Legion marches on his stomach, but why don't you simply take the corner of Las Granjas? Because they're definitely guaranteed by it. No, they're not. Okay, they're not guaranteed. Why don't you just go to rebel? We're going to do two because we can start uh, putting some more special forces on our special forces. Nice. Motor chariots. Ah, we rejected them as we should. There's six. And there's. You know what? I don't even want to change the name. I'll, I'll fix this later. Frumentaru? Frumentari. Right, it is. Frumentari 2. Oh, we don't really need that one either. 18, combat width. We don't want to throw in some demo equipment, which we do have more than enough. Support equipment is actually really good too. I got guys a, a little bit. More hard hitting. Oh, ah, oh, we still need coral stuff, so that's fine. Um, raiders. 
Well, it's the 87th tribe. The Rome of old once conquered the province of Judea. And then Israel, where Christianity was born. The Mormons, building a new Canaan in the New Testament, would be inviting new Judea, Judea upon themselves. The Great Chamber. Oh, the Battle of Pathfinder, Birds of the Triple Axes. Ooh. Tucson's Railway. Constructing a new railway connecting your capital with Tucson territory is pivotal to economic growth in the region. And what serves as a bedrock upon which the many developments and trade routes that one of New Mexico's border regions is sure to acquire will rest. Beautiful. Ah, loan repayment. Gaza always gets his funds. Yeah, I don't like how this is only one out of four. It's very depressing to see that. Um, yeah, who do we want next? I do want some planes for us, though. It's not bad. Ah, I'll get Carmine, why not? Screw it. Dear Sons of Railway. So to do this one, the secret sauce, if you learn about that, please go ahead. We need to corp. Oh, no. The Republic of the Rio Grande must not exist. Ah, so we have to wait for that one. Harry writes as well. The markets of Tucson. Tucson is a gateway to the wealth of Mexico and the prosperous in its own right from the uh, Santa Cruz River. Plus, the city is home to arms dealers, trading, pre-war secrets, all sorts of good stuff like that. I want to go to war. I want more war. I want more war in my life. In Bajo territory, so... Uh, Lucius is not hired elsewhere, which is fine. Dogs his teeth. Forging. Nice. Ooh. Good. Hmm. I don't know what I want here. Oh, we gotta go with the offense, but let's see. Let's say this political power, power for someone else. Uh, spec up units is not bad. Well, wait till we're maxed out and then we'll, then we'll do that one. Co talkers? Why not? I'm going this route right for now, just so we can get to the tolerate settler automation. Too many soon the Legion is spurring technology, but just because we're not relying upon it doesn't mean we don't use it. Our slaves work much better when they use heavy machinery instead of pickaxes, after all. The Legion was a state with Legion's barracks. We lose a conversion cost, which is fine, whatever. Get more resource efficiency game, more consumer goods factories, occupational appeal, and more construction factory speed and whatnot. Cool. Hmm. I'll grab that one. Why not? Because we can. I just kind of want to go to war with people. So, where are the Legion here? I kind of want to start going to Utah. Can we just go to war with dead horses? Oh, you know, I might just go to war with dead horses. At least go to some sort of conflict. 180 days, my god, that's so long. But whatever. Oh, we definitely need some more water. <laughs> Sounds like a typical California problem. Uh, make sure you have automatic weapons. Nice. Grab some of that, because you can. And we're going to actually come over here and do that one, too. Fast shot. Uh, I always like inspirational. You reinforce faster, you, you feel faster. It's just good overall. There you go. <clears throat> Exemptions for Tucson. Temple of the Cannonball. Helping our sunny little friends. Upgrade the trade node. Speedway, it's not bad. Speedway toll. So you want to win, huh? Huh. Well, how about Navajo Rail? The Navajo are among the most prosperous peoples of the ways, but they've been using their distance to stay apart from the Legion. Building new roads to Nava new Navajo will fix them. Navajo will appreciate that. Well, they better appreciate that. How about a week left? That's not bad. Welcome to Silversmiths. Missile Labs. Share it to Tucson. Trade with the reservation. How much money do we have right now? Hence a city aligned with the Gloria. Generally, some of y'all, let's burn the ties of the Legion, aligning with the prolificates of the Republic of Rio Grande. We'll keep that in mind. We'll see them crucified outside the villa yet. The generals like him belong on a cross. 
Absolutely. Savage lands for savage savage slaves for less savage land. You'll see instruction. I don't know which one I went with. Hmm. Mapping the dam for the dam, broken boulder. Uh, mapping the dam. Kimball, Kaiser House. You think the whole world was that wall, cutting the Colorado? If it, if I never laid on eyes on it, never spoke of it. Hmm. Where is our technology at for industry? We're lacking a lot, especially power armor vehicles. Industry, we're at level one. I don't think we can get any further advanced, which is kind of a concern of mine. So let's wait a little bit more for that. Uh, you guys, let's go to one of the rapids. Okay, so you are tiny. Cool. Subsidize Navajo. Bottle caps with Legion Denaris. Although the Navajo survived on the wasteland, their land is in some of the most inhospitable in Arizona and New Mexico. If we use this up to their economy, perhaps it will contribute more to the Legion. We'll try. Mapping the dam. Navajo markets. Ooh, North Phoenix development. Northern Phoenix will tie the city of the rest of Arizona. We can prefervish it. Oh wow. South Phoenix development. Phoenix is markets filled with the riches of New Mexico. Care for some chocolate? Chocolate would be nice. What if we went to war with these guys and we said, like, only the special forces are going to hold out here? That would probably be disastrous. So let's try it! And just in case, 20 divisions can kind of, like, hang out up here as well. Just in case, of course. Right now, we still need some more demo equipment. Spec Ops is looking good. Everything's looking generally okay. Barrage balloons? Oh, yeah, you know we make those all the time. Mix of Shahs? Saws? Saws and Shahs? Yes. The Brotherhood of Steel. Raiders. Unfair advantage. Um, well, who's left? It's been a while since I've actually done this. Honestly, I'd rather raid the Mojave territories than anything else. These guys are completely closed off, almost, it looks like. Almost completely. Um, the Mojave expedition simply cannot control all of this territory, leaving it vulnerable to raids, which is not our problem, of course. Beautiful. Spend more political power. Chariots of Tucson. Oh, yeah. The Generalismo's offerings. Terrible. Let's welcome them to here. Where are they? Van Graaffs. Just for support. Or is that just... Oh, we just get them... Anyway, okay. They used to be a company, I thought. Or a major business. That's actually kind of nice. Oh, we need our doggos to run with. Earn 600,000 cats from one node through a trade route. Mm, we can load that by two, why not? That'll be start. That'll be nice. You at least go two on each one here. We need that two, and you can lower that to that one. We don't need that many things. There's Siege of Hidden Valley, North Phoenix development, nice. Oh, and yep, there they go. They're gone. Raider rule, the fiends resurgence, Colorado blues. Ooh. I kind of want to do this one instead because we can always take away infrastructure. And that means if we take it away, it means we'd build it back up later. I don't necessarily want to do that. The gangs of the Mojave are diverse and degenerate culture. It includes the Vipers, a collection of ne'er-do-wells, dug in close to major roads to rob and plunder travelers and merchant caravans. The Scorpions, who hang out at the Monte Carlo when they aren't slinging chems or getting their heads blown off by the fiends. And of course, the fiends, a pack of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every drug, every pill, every psycho psychoactive enema on the screwed up earth. If we give them equipment and firearms, with luck, they'll find purpose killing the Mojave Territory soldiers. Now that's worth it. Killing off our enemies, that's totally worth it. Still building up some more civvies here, which is nice. Actually, can we upgrade this? We should be able to, yes. Nice. X. 
excellent missile labs. We're not there yet enough. Unfair advantage. Raider right Rumble. I'll do maybe a commercial dock eventually, but not yet. Uh, let's do uh, regional connections, because we do need that water. Uniting the southwest into a single state has proven Khazar's wisdom, where once you could not go ten miles without a bandit threat. Now a virgin may walk between Flagstaff and Phoenix, naked with a bag of caps and unremained and remain unmolested. Everyone prospers. Save a few of the merchant houses who supported the bandits. Absolutely. The fruits of a rule. Legion rule continues to bring benefits to the peoples of the southwest. The rising prosperity only makes the legion stronger, of course. As it should. So we should be able to go to war soon. Oh, good to get the Summers Federation with dead horses. I want to start expanding into Utah. I really do. Ah, literally a week. Nice. Over here, it's fine. we have a total of three planes. I oh, know, that's a whole lot, isn't it? All right, so before we make any sort of other mistake, oh, we need to make some motorized too. I forgot about that. We're gonna save the game, as you can see on screen, if you're actually watching or not. Because some people actually just like listening to me uh, read. Some sometimes so. Go to war with them. Let them attack us. Drive up Cassius Chaos Drusus's experience as much as possible. I might actually throw you here as well, just for funsies. Raider Rumble. And then uh, ooh, look, it's glory. AT Rifle Mastery. Ooh. The Mob Bias Lego will strike in the name of the Legion and drive the degenerates back to Shady Sands. Mojave Territory's uh, survivors can rebuild roads in the east if they're lucky. Well, okay, well, let's get these guys done first. Improvise obstructions, waste contact as well. Obviously, we're going to go this one. More, 50 more organizations, very strong. More experience gain, less recruitable population, but, you know, that's, that's a risk worth having. So, great is a perfect explosion technology? Sure. Why not? Let them drain themselves on our line as much as they want. Rushing waters will die soon enough. 15 divisions is not bad. Uh, we should actually probably start working on our intelligence agency. Actually, do we have... Uh, intelligent... Number 2 NCR. Nope, we don't. So we might as well start doing this too. Because we already have one. Merchant Spies. Former department, of course. Ah, they have, uh, Luchadores here, huh? Free fighters. Desert Hills fighters, not bad, not bad. We don't need any extra help. We'll be fine without them. Legion chariots. We like them a little thicker if possible. Oh, using every tool, what is this? Oh, this is different. I don't remember seeing this one. We use a lot of organization, though. Warriors of Somnus. The Well of Antler. Giants. Green Texas. Legion of Hades. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know anything about that. That seems diff different than when I did this last time. Um, in the meantime, the fruits of our rule. It only makes us stronger. Exactly what we wanted. Inspirational. I always choose life giver. Even more organization. It really helps out. Um, in the meantime, what else are we want to do? The Phoenix's feathers. Uh, South Phoenix development. We read the one earlier. You know, Phoenix and Marcus fill the riches of Mexico. Care for some chocolate. Commission for classes. A small fleet of riverboats can patrol the rivers of the Southwest. Literally small. How many boats do you think can fit in these rivers? Sounds good to these. That's fine. Rebirth of Phoenix, an arm encampment. Well, that's not bad either. Uh, harder than Empire. Southern Capital. Trade income. That's nice. Navajo Pathfinder. It's a great chamber. This one's pretty cool. With Tucson kneeling, we may explore their holy sites. Loyal tribe. Two sons have served us well in the past. Now the fate of the cowboy country is not being decided. They expect us to reward them appropriately. Well, you might as well do this one, and you might as well do this one as well. You might as well do that one too. Sure, why not? Um, 
Oh, we can't trade anymore though. God dang it. Well, if that's the case, that's okay. Um, they're very strong as is for now. Go and put some demo equipment on them. Uh, that's all we can afford. God dang it. That sucks. Gladius. At least we're doing something here. Yeah. Definitely need more motorized. Anti deck is looking good though. That's good. Losses 19 versus 1,000. That's uh, that's pretty good. Not gonna lie. So do we get any free cores, or do we have to manually core like the rancher stuff? Mojave Brothers, former core territories. Uh, cores. Kind of doubt it. Permanent reduction. Core. Oh, we can go down here later. Okay. Oh, I'd rather do it now. I'm going to assume no. So, we got to use our political power to course up down there, down south. It's fine with us. Two cents sends us their veterans in a lot of the Sonora Desert. Uh, stands the city of two sons. Its citizens are not a part of the Legion and they have their own deities, but as long as they worship the Kaiser and fight in our battles, they, we, they, we can give them independence. That's a sign of their submission. Uh, well, has sent us the best warriors who have spent amount the roaring chariots. They serve, They will serve well. Ooh. Nice. Oh, 25 combo with Legion Chariots. Ooh, I like that a lot. They have a little bit of armor too, which is actually really cool. Because you guys need what? Motorized vehicles, and you guys need what? Chariots. Screw those motorized vehicles. I want chariots. Bremis Ursinus. Ursinus? Shoshone, huh? Oh wow, he gets up to 26. Look at that. Nice. That's very cool. Um, this is the Labs Chariots of Two Sons. Let's come over here. We'll get some blueprints. Why not? Alright, so now at this point, this should be pretty much 100% ready to go, right? 49. Just core everything around here. It's nice. That costs us all of our political power, and we weren't even done. Okay, we need 53 more. Luchidora's not looking so good now, are they? God, I love the Legion. I wish we could be more aggressive, though, earlier on. It'd be cool if we could have an early starting date with Kaisar, or maybe even sub Marvel World where Kaisar starts in Blackfoot, and then slowly starts conquering every single tribe. I mean, I played as Blackfoot, which is fun, but... It'd be cool if we could start even further back. What we could do, we, we could get everybody up here actually. I let them take some stuff and then circle them and destroy them all like that. Um, well, that's not bad. Get some stability, I like that. Every neighbor's state gets two more infrastructure. Embrace the cult of Nas. Go to the cult of Nas, the Tucson religion, which religion tolerates as it sees the Kaisar as, as one of its own gods. We should accept worshippers of S Senior. Or, uh, <clears throat> SR, senior in our land, so they can maintain our roads. Moreover, cult of Vulcan is a lot to learn from them. <laughs> Why not? Sounds like it'll work out for us. Festus. How much are they lost? Two th a thousand? Are they approaching 1600? Nice. Let them come in. I want to see what they, what they can really do. Go, go, go. Go ahead and leave, it's fine. Bruh. Why are you going that way? Just go over here. Just, just stay, dude. I don't see this is possible. We do lose the radar, but whatever. I want them all over here. There you go. Oh no, we lost some territory. Whatever will we do? Chariots for our god. 
With Tucson has many technologies hidden in his garages, and while Legion won't openly won't openly lead these, we can use their vehicle's designs. The legend of the vulture. Lannister should return to us, if only for a while. He went to the Apache, besieged Roswell, he crossed the vault deck, and the Apache fell, and Roswell was sacked, and the vaults were broken. It's a great day for the Legion, and if some of Kaiser's followers are concerned about the Eastern Cohort, well, Kaiser will keep him in line as long as he lives. Remember, you are mortal. Let's go and do this, and I want these guys to race over here as fast as you possibly can. I want you guys. Just, just be perfect. Oh yes, chariots. Yes. Speed is of the essence. Decimation. I love it. You know, just go right. Oh, you do that too. I love it. Can they pierce us? Oh, they cannot. Oh my God. Early armor is so nice. Oh, look at all that. Oh. Oh, they found us. Not good. It's taking a while to get over there. Um... Ever since we opened trade deal with the Hentas del Sol, we see more of our men drinking and smoking. What are these? Where are they getting these de decadent vices? Nice. Ooh, they're gonna ask us, aren't they? Yeah, they say are. God dang it. Yep, we broke over though. Hold it for now. Good, good, good. You guys force it. Come leave. The eyes of Kaiser. Oh, Generalissimo Viala cooperated in our investigation and involved us as to demonstrate how foolish our concerns were. No, Generalissimo may be prolific, but he's our prolific. True to Kaiser. Well, Pathfinders. Kaiser conquered most of New Mexico and Arizona, but the Navajo fought so fiercely that they retained autonomy. Navajo Pathfinders served the Legion, but they remain as a people part. The Legion will have to deal with them, but as one of the most civilized peoples of Arizona, Kaiser has no desire to crush them. Perhaps they can be persuaded to serve the Legion more earnestly. Capture the Warren. Goodbye, Warren. Do you have to get over there? Oh, you just have to go through here. That sucks. Ah. Oh. She joined them. Well, it's probably best to get some more war support for now. Good. Okay. Honestly, if you just go there, you could probably just destroy them now. Get a little bit more time, and we should be okay. Inspirational. You're gonna need it. This thing. Uh, I'm not sure what this, I want this guy to do. Like, I like local lender, but like it doesn't help now that we went with that one. So, I do want more chariots. So, demo equipment and fighters, of course. <clears throat> oh, you go down here. You get this guy placed in there. Hey, a hundred army XP. Look at that. That's a lot. Uh, go down here. That'd be nice. Ah, dead horses. We'll just eat them up for now. And take the and take the ships. Ah, a successful war. If I do say so myself. 
Can we get Ouro, Ouro, Ouro Boros? Maybe Eagle Rock. I don't know, I'm not, so, I'm not supposed to be spreading to Utah yet, but like, I kind of want to. Treasure Trove. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Which is Guidance. Let's keep going over here. I'm not sure which one we want to do. You know what? You guys let me know. Should we do Calling Upon the Nomads? Or should we try to do Savage Slaves for a Savage Land? Please let me know in the comments below. Launch Border for Boulder City, you'll get a 10% more attack. I kind of want to do this one. Look at its glory. Yeah, that'd be probably best to do. In the meantime, I don't think we'll actually do anything here yet. We're gonna battle for Hoover Dam. Well, I'll just put some guys down here just in case. Beautiful. Navajo markets. Sure, why not? The markets of the Navajo are rich in Brahmin hides, silver wool, and other staples. We benefit both benefit if we promote them. What's not to love? Beautiful. And war the divide, eh? Benelli landing, huh? After making some military factories, that's very cool. It's very good, actually. South Phoenix as well. Go ahead and do I also want some uh, air bases down here too, because we will make more planes eventually. Not yet, obviously, but eventually. Hired cohorts. Oh, we actually lose political power. Ooh. We can use a lot of political power. That's not cool. Alright, we'll go with the legged one. Fifty percent more tech, so nice. Can't afford this. Oh, we just find anybody else. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. That's gonna take some time for us to get there, but that's okay. Sometimes it's just worth the wait. Sometimes not. Yeah, we could try it. Like it's glory. The Battle for Hoover Dam could be next too. Ooh, the Malpais legged like marches. You'll see Hoover Dam in all its glory at Bridge to California into victory. Miracle occurred. The Legion, Legion not even breach the dam. The Legion prevailed in the first battle. Odds are we're probably going to lose, and then we'll lose the Malpais Legion, which is going to suck. That's what happened last time. In the meantime, can we throw anything else on here? Maybe more... Ooh, anti-tank would be good. Yeah, do we, have enough, we do have enough anti-tank. I want dogs, but we don't really have to have dogs. Fire teams would be nice, too. And recon. Even more recon when our guys would make us quite strong. Uh, how many chariots do we have? Few of the motorized. I want chariots. Chariots, we have 54, so not that many. Scrap motor motorcycles are okay. I'm good down to three. That's fine for now. Now, we have a decent amount of uh, slight control equipment. That's not bad, too. We definitely need to over dam, though. Oh. Stability basic training? Sure, why not? Yeah, we can use some more stability. Like another war sport, though. Drastic measures, offerings, terrible. Oh! The Malpais Legacy's long wage campaigns of, uh, for Kaiser in the West, conquering vast swaths of territory up and down the Colorado River. One barrier stands above all, however, the Hoover Dam. Malpais has determined to conquer it for his Kaiser. Oh, good repaired. Well, the Hoover Dam was, for many years after its construction, an impossible barrier across eastern Colorado. Shortly after the before the Great War, before the Great War, the Americans embarked on an ambitious engineering project to tackle this. Under the direction of the U.S. Corps of Engineers, civilian contractor to constructed two boat lifts, glorified locks, one on either side of the dam, while theoretically designed to improve trade up and down the river. The locks never opened to civilian traffic before the Great War began. They, they are, the, however, far from broken. A few months of work could restore them to functioning. We try it. I didn't realize we had like 30 days left. Oh, Battle of Hoover Dam. Okay, so that actually is going to happen soon. I'm glad I actually looked at that. Holy crap. Mm. Naval Industrial Integration. Further Naval's integration into Arizona and Mexican economy will only promote their alliance on the Legion. That's very true. So with this, what do we do? Bengali job Neptune in them. 
Wait, so do we have to... Is there a focus? Oh, there might be a focus we have to do. Damn. 3279, uh... Did not breach. This is a triumph. It better be a triumph when we're done. When you launch a border war, you get 10% attack. Own our own synthesis. That's kind of cool. Monsters of the East. Damaged garrisons. The Commonwealth under Lucius prevails. The greatness of the Empire. Under the Phoenix King. To the West, returning to Hoover. Oh. The Western Sea. Bloody Bull. Okay, so just in case, we're going to save anyways because I like saving usually, so. Take a look, see what happens. Ooh, the Amici of the Legion. Kaiser does conquer every people he defeats. Some sellers are given autonomy as long as their talents pay taxes to the Legion. Others, like the reservation, trade with the Legion for slaves. There's a reason why many prefer to live under the bull rather than their own. That's very true. I hope they use the actual correct units to use this time, because I don't want. I remember last time I think they used the, like infantry. I'm like, why would you use infantry for that? Are you dumb? That's nice. Lanius is deadline. So Lanius, let's take a look see. He's doing well he's doing. He's trying to beat up Diana, the potential woman he could have married, but whatever. Two weeks left. Scavenger people, why not? This is in scare package. Well, we'll get wait for that stuff for later. What is money like right now? We get 101 denarius every month, that's nice. More ships, yes. A primitive radio, cool. 500 more map hours, decent. Industrial integration, good. MPP restoration. The Navajo Nation of Partnership was an agreement to provide the Navajo with irrigation from the rivers of the southwest. We can fulfill this plan by using the labor of the prolificates. Who fell to the Legion? The Divide. Alright, so let's see what happens. An ungodly child of Neptune and Jupiter. Hoover Dam, a great hulking slab of concrete towering above the Colorado River, which gushes through its long, silent turbines and overflows. We first heard about the dam from those with the twisted hairs that joined our legions. Though they dismissed it as lifeless and broken, it seems in the years since then that we last visited it. That has changed recent scouts and direction orders, direct orders from Kaiser, have observed a significant buildup of military forces and a remarkable resumption of power production. Most of this power appears to be diverted west to the entity known as the New California Republic, but some seem to be going to... Uh, what was known, uh, known as Las Vegas, now an illuminated Jew on the desolate Mojave Wasteland. While masters of the power and old world technology are of little concern to a legion as vast as mobile as we are, the Hoover Dam holds on to something much more important to Kaiser, the key to the Mojave. Only by seizing and holding it will we be able to spill west in great numbers. If we hold the dam, we can seize the Mojave and march for Vegas. Kaiser will last half his roam. Malpias will lead, there must be no delay. In five days, the Malpias will lead in an attack on the Hoover Dam, using troops deployed adjacent to it. The attack will be in the form of a border war, influenced by our previous actions regarding the Mojave and the dam. Beautiful, but I hate to do this, but we'll leave that for the next episode. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we'll see if we can actually take the dam or not. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.